X-Men Mutant Academy was released in 2000 and released the same day as the original X-Men movie and was initially intended as a tie-in, although it does have a couple of characters and things in it that are not in the movie. However, this game is a 2.5D fighter. It unfortunately isn't it's not it, it's not very good. The sequel was better, but we'll get to that in a second. It was released on Game Boy Color and PlayStation, and the Game Boy Color game got absolutely shafted for being easy and basic and uh, just pr pretty much a, uh, an, uh, a, a, a Street Fighter clone, essentially. Sorry, I couldn't get the words out there. <laughs> However, the PlayStation version is a bit better, but as you can see from this gameplay, I was struggling really to get any combos to work, although that could have just been me. I haven't played this game in over 20 years, so I do apologize. Now, this game, you can play as Cy Cyclops, Gambit, Magneto, Mystique, Phoenix, Pyro, Sabretooth, Storm, Toad, and Wolverine. You do unlock Apocalypse and Beast, which is pretty cool. Um, and... It, yeah, it's uh, it, it's got four game modes, um, nothing too exciting and extreme, uh, some stuff, some minor things to unlock, uh, different costumes for the characters and whatnot, but unfortunately, this first game, it's it was fine, but it was released to, well, basically mixed to fairly lukewarm reviews, and, and I can see that, and I do remember liking it back in the day, of course we didn't have anything better, but it wasn't until X-Men Mutants Academy 2, the year later, in 2001, where everything was just vastly improved, the game, the 3D models and whatnot are so much better, the game plays so much better, and it has a larger roster, including the roster from the first game. Excuse me, now... Isn't that, uh, isn't that a luxury that we do not get anymore? They took what was in the first game, improved upon it, took the the levels and the game modes and everything from the first game and moved it over and added to it. They didn't remove anything. And that's the thing that we have this day and age where, like, for example, in Street Fighter 6, we still, as of recording this, haven't got Akuma in the... Um, in the in the player roster, please tell me why Akuma is, is once again a paid for DLC character. That that dude was unlockable back in the 90s. Why are we having to pay for him again, Capcom? Sort your stuff out, man. Anyway, uh, <laughs> um, here in uh, X Men Mutant Academy 2, you also get cool cutscene, which I included at the beginning of this video. There are also other cutscenes that you unlock by playing through the arcade mode. There's also obviously the academy training and the versus and survival mode, which is uh, always cool. Now here you get to you you play as Beast once again, Cyclops, Gambit. Uh, you can play as Magneto, Mystique, um, in Phoenix, Rogue, and Psy Psylocke, Sabretooth, Storm, and uh, Toad and Wolverine. You can also play, interestingly enough, as Juggernaut, who is unlockable, Havoc, which is really cool, having Cyclops' brother in the game, um, and uh, <laughs> unlocking Professor Xavier, which you can go and bosh people around in a wheelchair, because um, that seems highly plausible. I mean, he can kick the crap out of you with his mind. I mean, come on. And yes, you can indeed unlock Spider-Man. And for some reason, I put in a cheat code to unlock Spider-Man just to get a little bit of footage, but it froze the emulator, so it, it wouldn't let me <laughs> use Spider-Man for some reason. So uh, you get a very tiny bit, but you can unlock Spider-Man. Um, this game, it, it plays so much better than the first game. Uh, the combos, actually, they show you on the main screen for special attacks and whatnot. So it's a lot easier to put on. And uh, I can't remember, did I just mention that you can play as Forge, who is awesome. I don't know why he wasn't included in the movies. He's a mutant that you can have in the movies and not have to spend money on CGI. The dude can just create things out of machinery, you know? He can just he can just create stuff. And that is, you know, that's badass. So I don't know why he was not included in the movies, but, you know, I'm digressing there. Um, this game I had a lot of fun on back in the day and I played it quite a lot and capturing footage now with the emulator um, it just reminded me how much fun I did have. This is a so sort of quite a fairly competent fighting game with a lot to unlock in the game and uh, just it just had so much personality and being able to play as all these X-Men characters was just a ton of fun. Um, I, I doubt we'll get any kind of remake reports. That's lot unlikely to happen, as this game is 23 years old, but you can always emulate it, or if you're a game collector, I'm fairly certain it's not super expensive to get on the PlayStation. Uh, but it it's, it's, it's worth a look at if you're an X-Man fan, or a Marvel fan, or a fighting game fan. But yeah, it's a really cool game. But please let me know in the comments down below if you've played X-Men Mutant Academy 1 or 2, and... Uh, 
As always, thank you very much for watching.